Hi guys! Long time no see. Seriously. I know. We were like, <clears throat> almost feel a little nervous about this. <clears throat> mm. Yeah. We've had quite a, quite a time since we've been posting on, on YouTube, but now we are endeavoring to post some more. <laughs> so Lisa. Yes. What is going on? <laughs> we adopted a dog. We adopted a little rescue. So in this video, we are going to introduce you to her. We're also going to talk about the differences of getting a pet in the US versus Sweden, because that's quite a big difference. It's as a huge found. difference, yeah. Um, yeah. And what else are we talking about? Why? <laughs> We're talking <laughs> why? about why we chose to do it this way, um, adopting a, a rescue here in California that we are going to bring to Sweden instead of buying a purebred dog in Sweden. I want to go get her. Okay. Okay. You go get her. <laughs> I'll just be here. The first week that we had her, we were like, we're going to do a video. And then, you know, we're also working and uh, they're just, puppies take a lot. So now, one week later, we are, um, we're ready. Here comes the nine week baby. Here comes the nine week baby and she 14 is pounds. a chunk. Ah. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Say hi to Miley. This is Miley. <sighs> oh, thank you for kisses. <laughs> oh, thank How you gentle. for puppy kisses. Oh, she's a love, especially when she's tired. <laughs> <laughs> this That's morning true. I would not have said that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's it's a really funny story, you guys, about her name. Like I said, I've been wanting a pet for such a long time. And I knew this whole time that whenever I get my first pet, I'm going to name it Baker. So I was like, okay, perfect. Baker this, Baker this, Baker this. But then it took so long for us to find the right moment to have the baby, uh, aka also the puppy that when we got rental chickens last summer, I was like, Lauren, I can't wait any longer. I'm just gonna name all the five chickens Baker. She tried to name every chicken that we got Baker. Yes. Every single one. And I said, <laughs> no, only five. you can't, yeah, still. <laughs> right, but yeah. I'm like, if we're gonna name these, you can't name them all the same name. So how many did you ultimately name Baker? Um, yeah, so Lauren wouldn't let me name them all Baker. So I, uh, I, we settled for three of them. Right. The Big Baker and the Baker twins. Right, and then that got weird. Not that it wasn't <laughs> weird already. <laughs> right. So then we ended up naming the Baker twins. Uh, your son and Gracie Baker. Yeah, I love when you say your son. That is also your son, like short for uh, Josefin in Swedish. I can't. Say it again. Your son. I mean, that was pretty good. Your it sounds, son. to me, it sounds the exact same as how I said it before. Right. And then we had Big Baker. Right. So anyhow, when we, when we got, um, when we got this baby and I was like, finally, it's time for Baker. I was like, actually, no because all the chickens have already been bakers mm -hmm. and I for some reason I was like I wanted to give her something more <laughs> unique something that was her own so so you ended up uh, deciding on Miley Baker okay yeah <laughs> that's at least not her first name <laughs> it's her middle name is she cute or what <gasps> what I mean, yes, she's very cute. When we decided to get Miley, it was actually a very long conversation. Uh, I'm Swedish, most of you know that, and Lauren is American, and we kind of have been splitting our time between Sweden and the US. Now that we have our farm in Sweden, we're actually moving there and will be living there pretty much full time. And um, it was a really tough decision, because in Sweden, people buy, for the vast majority, purebreds from breeders. Yeah, it's, there's almost not even such thing as rescues. There's a couple, right? There are, exactly. There are like a few rescue organizations that do, you know, really well, but that's also not many street dogs because we just don't have many street dogs. I kind of told Lisa that if she wanted to get a puppy, like a real puppy that she had to start fostering so that she knew what it would take to actually have she a puppy. She literally, like I was a kid and she was the parent. Like literally, <laughs> she was like, 
okay, if you if you want a puppy, then you better show prove to me that you can handle a puppy. I'm like, uh, okay. Is it? It's like having a baby. So I signed us up for a fostering program. We've been fostering puppies here in our home, um, like abandoned puppies. I mean, it, it <laughs> can't lie. It's a shit ton of work. Mm -hmm. Like there's no, there's just no getting around it and waking up several times every night and, and especially like rescue puppies. I mean, they're deworming them. We had to like pull worms out of their butts. I mean, it was, okay, okay. it was gross. I didn't know how connect, like how much connection I would feel to, to these like rescue organizations and and fostering. Right. I just wasn't, uh, I was prepared for the puppy part, but not how much I would actually, how I would change my mind going from a purebred breeder in Sweden for $2,500 or something to just be like, why would we do that? When right. All of these, all of these puppies are here. This is a big conversation and I'm sensing that a lot of a lot of you guys watching right now will uh, leave interesting comments and maybe some criticism towards one camp or the other because there's like few things that get people as riled up as like American football and adopting a puppy. <laughs> we felt like saving a life here and supporting a rescue organization here, that was more important to us uh, than getting a purebred in Sweden, even if they're gonna have to travel once to to get to Sweden. That was that was a decision we made and there are no quarantines by the way from America to Sweden. Uh, so also if you comment, uh, we encourage you to also do a little bit of research or, or ask the question because there are people out there with, with maybe some good answers. So let's talk about this little puppy and why we chose her, why we chose the rescue that we chose, which is called Labs and More. Um, definitely check them out. They're, we really have enjoyed our, our process of adopting through them. Um, so we knew that Miley was going to need to be very adaptable. We went to go look at the puppies. Um, we had already had a different puppy picked out. Yeah, I had one in my mind based on like pictures, looks. Uh-huh, and we go and we, we hold her and she's she's sweet. She but honestly didn't care much about us. She didn't care much <laughs> about us and she was like paying more attention to other people yeah. and like that's totally fine. Yeah. But we were like almost, <laughs> we had the c contract out and we were like almost signing yeah. for this puppy. And then we said, wait, 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 okay. So we decided to just go back into the litter. There was eight puppies running around and sit down and just observe them and see which ones would come up to us and wanted to settle by us and um and we ended up with picking this little Hi. lady so she was really curious she came up she was, was really, really fun with the other dogs um so this is who we who we ended up uh, coming home with so now the big question for all of you puppy interested people that are still watching this <laughs> <laughs> long thing we could talk about her all day um we are so excited and curious <clears throat> on what breed she is what do you think what do you like okay here she is what what do you what do you guys think she is this is <laughs> this is her. very good puppy yes black, very nice black job. white tip uh, mostly yes, just white girl. white body. It's her her coat is I don't know how much you can tell from like <laughs> from uh, on Hi, the camera, but it's a very very like dense thank puffy. You. She honestly feels to me more like a cat or like a rabbit than any dog coat that I know. But I'm also I have limited experience with dogs. Yeah, she's nine weeks old, a little over nine weeks old, and about fourteen pounds. Mm -hmm. Super athletic loves running also loves like loves uh <laughs> carrying stuff in her mouth while mm -hmm. she's running she also loves figuring things out so like if you just give her a bowl of food she's actually not super interested but if you give her like chew toys or like games or let her like work work for the food to like come or sit or paw then she loves having her food yeah so it's like it's interesting <laughs> So in the next video that we do about 
little Miley down here, we are actually going to do a DNA test. And I can't wait. And I can't not wait. So we encourage you to, in the comments of this video, write down what you think she is. We're not going to give you any hints besides for the ones that we first did. We also got her from a rescue called Labradors and More, so if you want to make any parallels between that, go for it. Right. We don't know how but many... But they're also called and more. Yeah, so there's a lot of mores there. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know how many different breeds are present, but we are excited to hear what you guys think. And the winner gets a, um, a lot of impre impressiveness <laughs> from us. We'll be very impressed with you. I don't know if that's correct. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go put this little lady back now. She was very happy to uh, bite my fingers and meet you guys. And uh, we will see you in the next video.